Hi there, welcome to WP Matt. Here in this video, I'm going to be talking about hotspot widget of Elements Kit plugin. Before starting the video, one thing you have to make sure by going to Elements Kit, after that Elements, and you scroll down, then make sure the hotspot widget is activated. After that, click Save Changes. Now you are ready to use that widget. Now before using that widget, let me show you some of the pre-made demo that Elements Kit offers you. Go to Elements Kit landing page. After that, hover Elements Demo, then go to Hotspot. Then you'll end up to the Hotspot landing page. If you scroll down, you'll find different type of style. The first one is the default style, where you can see a world map and some pointer. And if you hover any of the pointer, they will find some details according to that pointer. Now let's see more. In the next one, you'll find the same world map with pointer and the detailed, but the difference is that you will find everything in active mode. After that, you will see a new type of demo where you will find the same pointer. From there, a line starts and goes to the information area. The last one that I want to show you is the same pointer. If you click on the pointer, the line starts and goes to the area where the information you will see. Now, in this part of the video, I want to show you how you can use these existing demos. Open any page with Elementor Page Builder. After that, click on the Elements Kit icon. Then go to section areas. From there, you scroll down and find hotspot. And there you'll find all the demos that we have seen in the website. Just to show you how it works, let's install the default one. If you want to see the live preview from here, click on the live preview button or if you want to use it, click the insert button. After that, you'll find the demo in your website. If you want to customize this one, click on the widget and in the left side, you'll find all the options to customize this one. Now let's see how you can make it from the scratch. I'm deleting this one and from the left side search hotspot and there you'll find the hotspot widget by elements kit drag and drop the widget on your page and from the left side you need to choose an image as a background image i'll choose world map and there you'll find two style the one is style that has a line another one that doesn't have any line i'll use the line style and if i click on the pointer they will find a new line will start and goes to the information area from here you can delete or add any pointer for example, there is only four pointer, but I don't need, so I'll delete the first one. There I have only three, but if I want to change their position, on that time open it. In here you'll find left and top. If you change the value from the left control, on that time you'll find the pointer will move from left to right. After that, you have the top, and if you change it, it will move from top to bottom. If you want to use another axis like right and bottom, on that time open it and they will find the options to work with the right and the bottom. As an example, let's increase the value of the bottom. It will go to up and let's increase the value of the right. And you can see the pointer is working from the right side. Let's use the percentage unit. There you can see it's working fine. All right, you'll also have the options to choose an image. If I click on the pointer, it will open an information box. But the problem you can see the corner of the box is not so suitable. If you want to fix this one, you have to work with this line direction. Now there you can see the line direction is left, top, and there is an option. If I change its value, there you can see it's moving top to bottom. And if I make it to left, bottom, and click on the item again, there you can see the line goes left, then bottom. This is actually the setting to control the line direction. After that, in the top, you'll have the box to add content, like the content title and the content body. Now let's see how you can work with the color and the typography. You have to go to style. After that, you'll find a content tab, pointer tab, title, description, and image. In the content tab, you can work with the background color. Right now, I want to use the background color red. And the padding, I want to use 40 pixel from all sides. And there you have another control, which is the width control. If you increase it, the width of the box will increase. After that, you'll have the option to hide and show the carrot. Right now it shows, so if I disable it and again click on the item, I don't see any carrot here. Alright, if you go to the pointer again, they'll find pointer background color, font size, border radius, box shadow, glow color and so on. I'll change the glow color red and there you can see it's visible now. Then you can work with the title and the description. If I go to the title, I'll find title typography, text color and the margin. If I open the typography, there you can work with the font family, size, weight and etc. I'll use the font size to 20 pixel and I'll keep the other settings as it is. After that, from the text color, I'll choose the white color. 
Now if you go to the description, there I'll also use white color and the typography I'll use is 14 pixel. Let's open the content area and there you can see it's working fine. We haven't used any image so we don't need to work with the image but if I open it, I'll find the option to work with the image width and the position margin. Now another thing that I want to show you is that I go to the content tab and they will find active or not. By default this is disabled but if you enable it you will see all the information area will be activated. And this is how you can work with the hotspot widget. Thank you for watching this video.